Hello everybody and welcome to Geordieland 1892. Uh, Newcastle will take the long trip to Brighton and Hove Albion for their fixture tomorrow. At the Amex Stadium it's a three o'clock kickoff, uh, four o'clock over here. Newcastle are going to have a tough game tomorrow. That's without a, a shadow of a doubt. Uh, Graham Potter, he's done really, really well at Brighton and Hove Albion for me. Uh, tactically, they're a very good side. Um, and, you know, they're quite tough. They're quite a tough side. Good passing ability they have. Uh, Newcastle are not going to find it easy. But I believe we've got enough. I believe if we just concentrate on the way we play, um, I think we'll do all right. Uh, like I say, it is a long trip down there. And apparently, it is going to be a scorcher. So uh, anybody travelling down there, get your sun cream with you. Uh, but um, there will be water breaks, apparently, Eddie Howe said. Uh, that's how hot it's going to be. So obviously the, the players will get a chance to hydrate every now and again. Um, after Newcastle's great win last week against Nottingham Forest at St James's Park. Uh, I mean, Newcastle, I thought, were, were class last week i really did i thought i thought they played with a with a finesse um i, I honestly think uh newcastle uh were, were, were superb were superb last week now the news has come out it came out earlier in the week obviously we knew that john joe shelby got injured against ben figa it was a while ago uh but unfortunately this this week he has been operated on uh down in london um we thought it was a lesser injury to his hamstring. Uh, he has been told that he will be out for 12 weeks. A bit of blow for John Joe Shelby, really, for this season. Uh, because he won't be back until at least, really, the start of the World Cup. Uh, where we take that break and then we start again in December. So, bad luck for him he will be a miss and uh yeah he does add a different dimension when he comes on the pitch at times not all the time mind not everybody's the biggest fan of john joe but some of his passing ability at times is incredible and he will be missed so you know get well soon um tomorrow is a strange one because um the premier league have told newcastle that uh, all their kits, all three, clash with Brighton's kit. So Newcastle United have had to invent a fourth kit. Uh, and I have to say, it's it's beautiful. Um, I've seen, I'll show you a picture in a minute. Uh, it's, um, it's an incredible shirt. It looks really, really nice. And it is going to be on sale, apparently, for a limited time only. It's going to be a limited edition shirt. Uh, but I find it really strange that all... Of, I mean, I understand that we can't play in the black and white kit. I understand that we can't play in the blue and gold kit. Uh, they are obviously going to clash. But the white kit that's behind me there, uh, with the green shorts, I don't know. I, I don't really understand the problem there. Um, I've looked at the two kits side by side and I don't know, I don't really see a problem. Uh, but the Premier League seem to think there is. So like I say, we've had to invent a new kit. And like I say, it's very, very nice. But I don't think I'm going to be buying it. I would love it, but it's about 79 quid. And uh, I've just bought two lots of these. Um, Two for me and two for my for my lad. Um, so at the minute, um, it's a shame because it is limited edition. Um, but I don't think I'll be stamping up the cash for that one. Uh, but it will be interesting uh, to see them in that kit tomorrow. But it's a lovely design, isn't it? Now, Eddie Howe in his conference, press conference today was asked a lot of questions, obviously about John Joe Shelby, uh, about the trip to Brighton um, and you know he was asked quite directly have we or are we bringing anybody in next week uh, in the transfer market the answer was quite factually no 
from Eddie Howe. Uh, but he said they're working very, very hard behind the scenes himself and Dan Ashworth trying to bring in players. He's obviously not going to blurt it out in his pre press conference today what's going on. We'll wait until to see what happens next week. He also had mentioned that, uh, you know, training this week had been quite tough with the heat. Uh, I, I get that. that, that that's, uh, I mean, that's obvious, isn't it, really? Uh, but he'd also mentioned that he had been going through with the players, you know, the history of the club and uh, I suppose historic moments of the past, um, showing them a bit of a, a bit of a glimpse of what 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 happened in the past, what 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 the club's all about, basically, um, you know, the Keegan era and all of that. Um, obviously, they were sitting down to watch a few videos, talk about it. Um, and apparently did mention that a few times he has spoken to Kevin Keegan. Um, I imagine they do talk. Uh, I mean, Kevin Keegan knows <laughs> a massive amount about this club. So I would imagine he's taken a little bit of advice from him. But he did say that he was hoping in the future that maybe, you know, Kevin might be a little bit involved in the scenes somewhere. Um, that would be lovely to see. Kevin Keegan... Uh, in the background somewhere, you know what I mean? And it would be nice to see a few ex other ex-players, you know, and uh, not managers, but uh, some of the ex-players getting a, getting a little bit of a shout out about what goes on. Obviously, the final decision would be Eddie Howes, isn't it? But it would be nice, I think, uh, if uh, Kevin Keegan had a little part to play in the future of Newcastle United. Um, so tomorrow, uh, it's a big day for Dan Byrne. Uh, he's going back to Brighton where we bought him. Uh, he is from Blythe. He's a jolly lad. Um, and obviously, he, he obviously was watering at the mouth when he, when, he, when he found out that Newcastle wanted to bring him up to St. James's Park. It wouldn't. It's his boy, boyhood club. Um, but he will get a great reception down there tomorrow uh, in Brighton. Um, and I th I'm sure he'll be quite happy to be back and see it probably have quite a few people in the back back staff and stuff like that people at the ground that he knows it'll be a very big game for him i don't think newcastle united will pretty much change anything tomorrow i think they will play the same formation as they did against forest and i do think that it'll be the same team uh they played so well um sven botman um he might come on later he might come on later on uh, but I don't think he's going to get a look in uh, in front of Dan Byrne as of, you know, because uh, Dan Byrne is going back to his old club. So I'm sure he's going to be selected. Uh, but it'd be nice if he gets a, a, a little bit of a run out, uh, Sven. And I, and I can see in the future games he's going to start coming in bit by bit. Tomorrow, what do I think about the uh, what the score is going to be? I think Newcastle are going to win 2-1. Now, I did say that they were going to beat Nottingham Forest 2-1. Um, but I do think that Newcastle United might just pip it tomorrow and I think they'll win 2-1. Um, I think Wilson's going to score. Uh, it'd be nice to see Dan Burns score from a corner or something like that through his head, wouldn't it? But um, no, I don't think that's going to happen. I think tomorrow it'll be goals from Cam Wilson... And Joe Linton, I think he's due a goal. I think Joe Linton's due a goal. Uh, mind you saying that, you just never know what Miggy's going to do, you know, if he turns up. Um, he's been he's been great in pre-season, hasn't he? Um, but no, for me tomorrow, Cal Wilson and Joe Linton are going to get the goals for Newcastle. So anyway, listen, I've been rambling on a little bit about Newcastle United, a little bit about tomorrow. Uh, I'll be back after the game at some point. Um, good luck. How are you, the lads? Uh, I'll be watching, and um, I think it'll be a great game. I think it'll be a very good game. I mean, obviously, they did beat Man United at Old Trafford uh, last week. Uh, I know Man United are not exactly uh, firing on all cylinders at the minute, but still, Old Trafford is always a hard place to go, and they, they, they did it. They did it. They, they, they got a 2 1 win there. So it'll be a tough game, but uh, I think we're going to see it through and I think we'll win 2-1. So from me, 
Jory Land, 1892. Um, me, Keeper, all the best. <laughs>